Well, hi everybody. Um, that's going to be a short navigation video. I'm not going to be able to touch on everything in, in a 10 minute or 15 minute video, but um, somebody was asking me about the heading bug and somehow he had it in his head. It was related to the to the GTN 750 or the GNS 530. And I'm going to try and I'll pause this here and stop the sound. There, I'm going to I'm going to uh, try to explain a few things about these planes. You get in a plane. I'm in a Karen Auto Navajo, which is one of my favorite planes. And it comes with a GTN 750. Right now I got it turned off. And if you bought it without the GTN 750, you get the GNS 530. And with most planes today, they have what's called a backup system. So you can use the GNS 530. You can use the heading bug. Now this heading bug, that's that little orange thing right there. See, right there. And you can move it with this knob. You can go up and down, you can go around. And the thing is with this and your 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 flight plans, um, they generally work if you're in a plane with an autopilot. See, this plane has an autopilot. But if you put one of these in your plane and your plane does not have an autopilot, you can still you can still fly with it. Let me see if I can find it here on here. Right. See one of these keys has it. You can still fly with it because you see this this little this little button right here, this little green triangle. You've got to imagine, that's the plane. And um, I'm going to clear the flight plan. Don't need the flight plan. Menu. Uh, Leap flight plan, enter. And I was thinking of uh, flying to uh, a local airport, which is Hamilton, so I could go the outside ring here. But maybe I'll click on this and make it like this. Move it down one. We're going to see why. See why. H M which is a nearby Ham airport, Hamilton Airport, so we'll enter that. Accept it. So we're going from Kitchener to Hamilton. And um, so it's set up on my GNS 4 530. 430 won't have a moving map. See if I hold this button down and I get a moving map. No, that's not it. Clear button. There, moving map. So, Hamilton is off in this direction. So, we'll go direct to put in Hamilton. Outer ring, inner ring. Outer ring. H. M. Enter. Activate. So we're going direct to and direct to Hamilton now. You know, I take this off. Pause. There, I can pause it. So this is the direction to Hamilton, and you see this compass right here. Um, you can use that with your heading bug. And right now, the airport 
the, the, the line here is the runway and the little green triangle is is our airplane and this assumes that this is the direct direct with with our line here to Hamilton we're sitting right on the line so we're direct if we go over to here where the little hand is this line will be the airport and it'll move to the right so it'll be sitting off here to the right and it'll say something in here that you're two miles off course you'll get it in a minute when I get going here but when you set this up, if you don't have an autopilot, you can still fly this course by manually steering the airplane and trying to keep it on that red line. Now, my, when I had my airplane, I didn't have an autopilot. Um, so what I had to do is I had to fly by my compass. And you're saying, well, how do you know which direction to steer for the airport? Well, what you do in the old days, you would have a map on your lap and you would have a thing called a compass protractor, and I got a couple examples here up for it for you. Um, the one I had was like this, was a round one. So you'd have the map on your lap, and you would put this over the map, and you'd you'd center this circle on your location or your airport where you happen to be sitting, and and you would turn this line. See, this is like a little ruler attached to it, and you could pull that down or up and point it towards the airport that you were going to, and then you could get the compass reading, and that's the direction you would steer. Now, if you had a nautil, there, there's another style. There's all kinds of stuff. There's half moons. There's square ones. Here's a square one. I didn't really like the square one. I like the round one. And it's the same thing. You put that over your position, and then you can get the reading. And that's how you find out where you're going. And when you got your direction, you can do it on the on the uh, compass, or you could do it on the. Uh, let me see. Get it this over. I should actually set one up on here. I will. I'll set this one up on here. Nine. Or you could read it on here, and it says. A direct track to Hamilton is 140 degrees. Now that's where the heading bug comes in. So you know that the uh, airport is 140 degrees. So you can turn this heading bug. You want to do it quicker this way. To 140 degrees. Now when you turn on your autopilot, and your autopilot, my autopilot is, where is it on this plane? i got to find it on this plane. Down here. Now when I hit heading, actually the easiest way to show you is if I, on this Carinado I can open it here. If I hit heading, the plane will follow, the autopilot will follow this bug. Now when I'm in GNS 530, if I set this CDI, see here it says vertical localizer. That's for if you're using a radio signal to line up with the runway. Or you can go GPS, which is the one you usually use, and you use it in a GTN 752. With the GPS, you would hit nav. And with the nav, the nav is connected to this machine right over here. Or if I can show you the same thing, I can go in here and I can go uh, open up the GTN 750. This plane has two. I have the GNS 530, I have the GTN 750. I do the same thing here. Map. So we're sitting there. Here's your CDI. See, it's V-Lock, which works on this thing. It's a localizer with a radio signal. We're going to use the GPS function, so you would hit the CDI to say GPS. Then when you hit Nav, it'll follow whatever it says on here. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to fly without using this to get to the Hamilton Airport. Now, we know the Hamilton Airport is at 140 degrees, so all we're going to use is the autopilot and this. Right here. 
we're going to completely ignore this, okay? Because what I want to do is show you how the heading bug works. So I can minimize this. And if you hit the M key, there's your map, and you can zoom in with the mouse wheel if you want. You can hit the plus or minus sign. And here's Ham here's where we are, and here's Hamilton, CYHM. So we're going to fly down to Hamilton, and I checked on here, and the heading is 140 degrees. Now, you if you don't have an autopilot, you can still steer it manually. You can either look at this, or you can look at the compass. So I'm just showing you different ways you can have fun on the flight sim, try different types of flights. So I hit the M again to make this disappear. And I'll take this off of autopilot. And we're going to take off and we're head over to Hamilton. In the general direction of Hamilton. So here we go. I'll show you how that heading bug works. We've got it set on 140 degrees. So we take off, <coughs> excuse me, 100 knots of lift it up, gear up. Check outside, see where our gear's going up. There's our gear. Now watch this. I'm going to wait till I get up to 2,000 feet, which is about 1,500 feet above ground. I'm still going straight out. Open up my autopilot. Turn my autopilot on. Hit altitude. So it's going to hold that altitude. It's going to level off and come back to it. See if I turn on the flight director. Now, you can read it in here. We've got altitude and autopilot. Now watch what happens when I hit the heading button. Watch this bug. Heading button. The plane is going to turn around to that heading button. It's going to hold this 1,500 feet. And we're not using this at all. We're just using this heading bug, this little orange heading bug, and the autopilot. The heading function. The nav function works for this. So if you have a flight plan set up in here, then you would use nav and it would, it would give you, you could do an approach with it. But this is just to get you over to, we'll, we'll start this off as kind of an easy lesson for you beginners or guys that don't know how to fly. So what you do is you can look at your map, open up the M, hit the M key, look at the map. And here's Hamilton right here. And you notice how the plane is turning towards Hamilton. I hit the M key again and reduce it. And to show you what I mean, if I move the watch, I'm going to move this. Uh, you can get that closer. I'm going to find a key where where's there's the compass. The compass you see is showing us at 140 degrees right there. find another key that I can use. I'll use this key. I'll zoom in. I put that on six. If you, if you want to make different views, you can do it by moving around where you want, then you hold down the control key and hit the number on the number pad. Now when I hit the six key, I'll go back there. So let's say now the airplane is following that bug. So I'm a little bit off course, so I'm going to turn it to 150 degrees. So I turn it there, and look, the plane is turning to 150 degrees. I back speed down a little bit, I'm getting up there. Look at your map again. 
you know it's going directly towards Hamilton. Here's Hamilton right here. And I won't go all the way over there. This is just a lesson of showing you what that heading bug does. It has nothing to do with this. It's connected to your autopilot. You just pick a heading. Okay, I want to go to uh, due east. So I can turn this knob and get it over to east. I think that's east. Due east. And a plane is going due east. I'm, I don't even have my hands on the controls. The plane is just following that heading bug. And the autopilot, if you want to check, make sure what you've got on, it tells you right here. We've got the altitude set. The altitude is on, the autopilot is on, the heading is on, flight director is on. And if I set in a flight plan in here, that's going to be another lesson that I would use in that. But I'm just showing you how to use this this heading bug. And that's all it's for. Don't confuse it yourself with thinking that has something to do with this. It has nothing to do with it at all. I, it's just picking a course and selecting it on your autopilot. So I can pause that. And... Uh, Try playing with that and looking at your map and see where you want to go. See, now the plane is going due east. And uh, that's what that hanging bug does. So I hope this helps some of you guys. Have a nice day.